Hello everybody, Dr. Brian Desvonick here. In this video, I am going to be talking about activated folic acid. Enjoy. Did you know that there is a common genetic mutation in people that basically um, inhibits their body from being able to take dietary folic acid, the folic acid that's found in your food, and convert it into a usable form, which is 5-methyl tetrahydrofolate. There's a genetic test you could have done. You could ask your doctor to do the MTHFR genetic test, and that will show you the if you have the mutation, and it'll show you the degree of the mutation because there's varying degrees, and the the, the worse it is, the the less probability that your body's going to be able to make that conversion. And folic acid is needed for a lot of things in the body. One of the main things it's used for is to help your body to make DNA. So every time every time your cells um, reproduce, every time they make copies of themselves, they need uh, that folic acid to help to make the copy of the DNA and RNA. And if you don't have enough, you're not going to be efficiently doing that process. And one of the signs you will see is fatigue because you will develop a condition called megaloblastic anemia. So one of the things you could do, like I said, is you could get tested to see if you have this mutation. And if you do have any degree of the mutation, then if you ever supplement your diet with a, a multivitamin or a folic acid supplement, you want to make sure it's in the form of 5-MTHF or 5-methyl tetrahydrofolic acid. That way, your body doesn't even have, if you have that problem, you don't ha aren't able to make that conversion, it doesn't matter because you're already taking a dietary supplement which has already converted it for you. And this is especially important for women who are pregnant. So if you're pregnant and you know that you have a genetic mutation in that enzyme, then you need to make sure that your prenatal has folic acid in the active form. If you like the video, consider giving it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and click the bell so you don't miss out on my future videos. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.